Hi guys, Steve Davis here, Stillwater Woodcraft. We're going to carry on today with our trapping with a very simple deadfall. Okay, we're going to make what's called a promontory point deadfall. And all it requires is just one stick, a half a cut, and a break, and you got the trigger done. Okay, so what we're going to do is find our deadfall using the same parameters that we used in our Paiute deadfall video. We're going to get us a piece of green uh, stick, you know, I like maple for this because it splits nice, about the size of your thumb. And we're going to find that 30 degree angle sweet spot, okay, with our deadfall and measure this piece to fit that, okay, and cut the ends off square, you know, it's just as easy to take an axe, whack them off square. They ain't got to be perfectly cut, okay, but those ends where they bear the weight on the ends, if they're pretty flat, that'll make life a little easier getting this set up. So, after we got that measured, what we're going to do is take our knife, okay, here at about the middle, we're going to take and just cut that about halfway through, okay. Straight down, straight across, halfway through. Then what we're going to do is holding that cut up, we're going to use our thumb to back that, the back side of that up. So it doesn't, we don't want it to break clean in two, we want it to split here. So we're going to just break it. You'll see how that splits out. So we have this piece which resembles a chair, and then the piece we split off. Okay, now this piece that split off of the, uh, that's still attached here, you know, it split up. What we're going to do is kind of trim that up into a point shape there. And bevel it, bevel it away from the center. Then our piece that came off the top there, that just sits back on top, okay? So we have our chair piece and the piece we cut, just put them back together the way they were. And we have this little point that we cut out to the inside. It's as simple as finding the spot where it wants to sit, just like that. Okay, now what this does is that little notch we cut in there, you can wedge your bait in the back of there and when something screws with it, that just buckles and comes out. There's a couple different ways we can use this. You know, we can put our bait right on that little point that we made. Or, you can set that up. When you're setting this, what you gotta imagine in your mind is the arc that this deadfall makes as it falls. So if you have the top at one point of that arc and the bottom at the other point of that arc, it'll get you know straight pressure on that stick and hold it together. We can also take a forked stick and bait this stick. You know, we can split it and bait it with something like nuts or whatever, or skewer something on there. We can fit it back behind here. Okay, so now I have this fork up on that the, the uh, deadfall trigger and wedged in the back here. That way it's too long to come down without pushing that trigger out of the way. And we can bait this stick and it'll work the same way. That's just a little variation on this. So, I'll move this up a little closer and we'll get a little better view of exactly how this works. All right, we have our two pieces here. Here's our bottom piece with the split and the point, and then the top piece that sits on it, just like it grew on the tree. We're gonna just hold that together with our thumb and finger. Lower that down until we got our deadfall caught. Okay, now remember what we said, picture this arc where this falls down and if you got them sticks in line, that'll keep pressure on the ends of them without them buckling. 
Now we could bait just that point right there. And as you can see, this just buckles right out of there when it gets touched. We can set that up again. And for this, I like to set it up so it buckles out instead of in. That way when this stick rolls down, it pushes it out. And then we can kind of put this in here. Ow! Put it in there carefully. Remember with deadfalls and any kind of trap for that matter, they're a little bit touchy to get set, then you got it right because then it'll be easier to go off. But we can fish our bait stick back in there. So it leans up on that. Okay, now when we got that stick baited and something's on here screwing with it, it just pushes that out of, out of the way. So there we got very, very simple, very easy. No notches, no cordage, nothing like that. You can make a bunch of these in a very short amount of time. And that is really all there is to it. So this has been Steve Davis of Stillwater Woodcraft. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your support. We'll see you on the next one.